African swine flu. This affects pigs only. It has killed millions of pigs in this world, as a matter of fact. Yes, the southern African continent has moved to Asia, all through China. And yes, it has moved to the Philippines maybe three to four months ago. And it does not affect humans in any way. What happens is pigs get it and pigs die of swine. And uh, at the present time, there is no known cure to help a pig either vaccinate, vaccinate them or anything else to get rid of it. And uh, the price of pigs have been going down because of this. The demand for pigs have been going down because of this. But according to the USDA, this is not contagious between animal and human being. I'll put up a link here in my description. You can read it if you'd like. And no, it has not been to the USA yet. I believe it's going to go worldwide in the next four years or so or less. You know, it'll, it'll get across the whole world, in my opinion. Of course, if you can believe anything Russia, not Russia, excuse me, anything that China tells you, uh, they haven't lost that many pigs, but they kill pigs by the millions. And uh, if they get an area that's got swine food, they go out. 30 or 40 kilometers around and kill all the pigs and send them to slaughter. And uh, it's just the way it is. And people here in the uh, Philippines are kind of scared about it. And I don't blame them at all. I don't know, it's lack of education or whatever it is might be. And the government is trying to do a few things about imports and stuff and they find, I, I what would you call it, mislabeled cans. They say it is... Uh, like tomato sauce or whatever else inside the cans. Well, they open the cans up and they find pork products. And uh, they just take them, let alone and confiscate it. I don't know what they do with it. I have no idea how they clean it up or anything else. And uh, so swine flu is here in the Philippines. I know where me and my sister in law lives. They have a lot, of, they raise a lot of pigs up in a province called Bulacan, a Bulacan, the way I pronounce it, B-A-L-C-A-N, B-A-L-A, B-A-L-A, excuse me, Bulacan. So, they have quite a few pigs up there, and it has affected some of them a little bit. They have killed off roughly 20% of all the pigs, according to my sister-in-law in that area. That's what, she, that's what they, that's she should, she's led to believe. I have no idea if these numbers are true facts or not. And uh, so that's about pigs in the Philippines and about eating pigs. Well, Rose and I don't eat pigs, so I guess we missed the bullet somewhat. But still, it does not affect human beings if we eat contaminated meat. And uh, I'm doing fine other than... The normal aches and pains, I guess you would call it. And it's my, how do I put it? My medical health is much better here than in the USA for several reasons. First of all, it's not cold. My joints don't hurt nearly as bad, you know, because there is no winter time at all. And uh, I'm grateful for that. I'd love to go back to the United States for winter time for maybe two weeks around Christmas time to New Year's. And, uh, after that, like Rose was telling me, my joints are crying for warm weather. Hey, hope you all have a great day and a great time. Also, turn around with your families. Subscribe, comment, and like this video. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye for now.